Ah, oh, this feels really good. You know, I was a little hesitant on the green, but I said I'm gonna go for it. Into it. Into it. Hi, I'm Ashley Golden. I'm director of scripted original programming for TBS, and I'm sitting here with Donnie Wahlberg. We're talking about your show, Very Scary People. Yeah. It's yeah. Chuck full of very scary people, let yeah. me tell you. So how did this come about? Uh, it came about, first of all, of me being a huge fan of crime shows, uh -huh. like Forensic Files. Uh -huh. is literally my favorite show in the history of television. The thought of having a show that was going to air in a close proximity to Forensic Files <laughs> was just too much. Just, just, too just much even to, to be close it. to that on the schedule, you're... Could not, yeah. could not pass it up. A simple crime show like that, for example, like Forensic Files, it's, it's really fascinating to see how uh -huh. the bad guys can do something so simple uh -huh. to get themselves caught, where the police have to find that one simple mistake. Right. But with very scary people, I think we're re-examining people we've heard of, you right. know, very infamous people, serial killers, mass murderers. Because of the archival footage and the nature of HLN and CNN, you know, we're able to get all this real news footage and not have to depend so much on recreations and mm -hmm. stuff. That can really take you out of it. In fact, in, in this show, it's the opposite. You get thrown right back into it. You feel like you're in the 70s or the 80s mm -hmm. when these things happened and yeah. you feel a little bit more afraid. Is there sort of a threshold that makes somebody a very scary person? For this show, I think one of the things, it's not only what they did that was so horrifying, it's mm -hmm. that they did it in while hiding in plain sight. And what do you think that it is that draws you to these stories? My son, starting in third grade, was obsessed with Godzilla. And his teacher one day told me at school, you know, I want you to know, he, it's not so much that he loves Godzilla, he's really afraid of Godzilla. I said, what do you mean? And she said, well, he wants to own all this stuff and watch the movies and be as close to it as possible so he can feel a control over it and t get rid of his fear. Right. And I think that applies to all of us uh -huh. with shows like this. You know, we are obsessed with these crime shows because we want to get some understanding of what would compel people to right. do it so we could just be a little bit less afraid of it. Right. And as an actor, you've been in some pretty scary movies. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I think about The Sixth Sense and like the first moment that you were on screen in that movie. And, you know, I think that yeah. was like when a lot of us saw how scary that you could be. Yeah. And I did the Saw movies uh -huh. too, which were based right. on a, a, a fictional serial killer. And is this sort of the first kind of hosting show that you've done? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. I think I had to earn my stripes on right. Blue Bloods and right. my maturity as a uh -huh. sort of a fictional law enforcement figure to right. be taken seriously. As Have your, your credibility that's as, right. as, a, as an expert in the in Yeah. The I think Blue crime. Bloods and Saw mm -hmm. have put me in a position to be the right guy for this show. Right. Very Scary People premieres March 17th, 9 p.m. on HLN. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. <laughs> Don't miss it, Ashley Cam. Don't miss it. I'll protect you from the bad guys. Hi. That's that St. Patrick's Day, ain't it? Okay. I'm all about breaking out. Yeah.